we couldn't really afford a house for ourselves. So like a lot of people our age, we kind of got roommates, you know, and our roommate was my sister. We had both of our boys when we were renting a house, the three of us adults together, you know, 30 somethings and just outgrowing a really tiny house. <laughs> I think it was a thousand square feet or something like that, maybe 800. It was completely tiny. We wanted to look for a home, but we didn't qualify for a conventional home loan. So we went to NeighborWorks originally seeking um, help with a down payment for a house. They told us that we might qualify for this program, the Mutual Self-Help Program, which seemed like too good to be true. So we were crossing our fingers and holding our breath. And, and when we got the call that we qualified for it, we were just completely floored. We didn't start off knowing everything. And with our NeighborWorks program, we were able to learn how to budget, learn how to take care of our credit scores, how to plan for the insurance that you need for house payments, the escrow. We've heard the cliche, hand up and not a hand out before. It's kind of like lift yourself up by your own bootstraps. But when you see it working on the ground and not just as an expression or an economic theory, it really matters. Uh, what better visualization than to be able to help someone get up and to put your hand out to help them and not to give them something. In this day and age, uh, people don't want to be given things. They want to earn things. People can get behind that. We're so lucky here in Great Falls to have the high school house opportunity for our high school students. They get to see um, what it's like to build a home um, from the ground up. And, and when I say home, I mean that um, literally, that it's not just a building, it really is a home, and that they're building it for a family. And I know that, and students have told me this, is that students have built the homes in the past that when they're adults, they drive by those houses with their own children and point out um, that they did that, that they made that and now a family gets to have a home because of, because of that work. I've had the opportunity to go to eight different high school house openings and, and at many of those we've been able to meet the families that are going to move into those homes. And each of their stories is different. Each pathway to becoming the homeowner of a high school ho house, each one has a different story to tell us. But what is the same about each of those is the excitement that the family feels. The excitement about picking out which corner of the living room the Christmas tree is going to go into. Picking out the, the bedroom that each of the children were, will have. Or picking out um, the, the time and the 4th of July picnic that they're going to have in the backyard on the sod that was laid by, by high school students so so that excitement when I leave those open houses and after I've met those families is something that that I am so proud of to be a part of and I think our community should be too. I worked with a lot of those families and then I've seen what they've become and what they've done and their children I've seen the difference that huge difference that it's made in the Great Falls neighborhoods and you know, I don't even, can't even begin to count how many homeowners because I don't have the statistics anymore. But once a family gets started, their children will have hope. So it just goes on and on. When we were renting, I never believed that home ownership was in our future. I didn't think that it would be possible for us because we weren't good financial candidates for that. So it was kind of a pie in the sky like maybe someday when our kids are grown we might be able to afford it but i didn't think that it would ever be something that i would i would see come to fruition with the financial freedom that we got right now we're able to enjoy taking our sons to swim meets or giving our other son horseback riding lessons because of that we're able to just really tighten down that belt and uh, every tax season we're always glad for that extra bit of money and most people you know they spend it on whatever but we reinvest it in the house, we make extra payments to try to crack down the payments, which we wouldn't have learned if we didn't uh, have our classes through NeighborWorks. I love that I have a game room and a room. I spent five years in this house, and I've made so many memories. I have a place to hang my medals, I have, I have a place to play with my dogs, I can go outside and, I, and they can be off leash because I trust them. And I have my room, and I have everything, it's just great. Home means to me uh, having achieved a sense of belonging and having a place where I can go to recover, relax, recoup, socialize, that's mine. And uh, it's not yours, uh, and it's not a friend's, but it's mine. And that sense of ownership of that concept 
is really an important part of my basic character security and I think for any family security. Home is wherever my family is. Friends and family. Independence. It's what life's about, building your own home. Home means safety, comfort, and it feels like I can just be myself here. Is that or at the pool? Our Great Falls community should give back to NeighborWorks because NeighborWorks is our community. It's the entire community. It's little houses, it's little families like us, but it's huge apartment buildings, it's complexes, it's businesses. It is the community.